Gamma ray bursts, often referred to as GRBs, are among the most powerful explosions in the universe. They release an extraordinary gamma ray bursts, often referred to as GRBs, are among the most powerful explosions in the universe. They release an extraordinary amount of energy, equivalent to what the sun will emit over its entire life cycle, but in just a few seconds. These bursts occur when massive stars collapse into black holes or when neutron stars collide. While GRBs are incredibly distant events, their impact on the universe and, potentially, on Earth, is a topic of great interest. The energy emitted during these explosions can produce intense gamma radiation that travels across vast distances. When a GRB occurs in our galaxy, it could have devastating effects on Earth's atmosphere, potentially stripping away the ozone layer and exposing the surface to harmful radiation. However, such events are rare. The closest known GRB to Earth occurred about 450 million years ago and it is believed to have affected the planet's climate, possibly contributing to mass extinctions. Scientists use various telescopes to detect GRBs. Observatories like NASA's SWIFT satellite are designed to observe these bursts in real time, providing crucial data about their origins and the environment surrounding them. The study of GRBs helps astronomers understand the life cycles of stars and the nature of the universe. They serve as cosmic beacons, illuminating the distant regions of space and offering insights into the formation of galaxies. Interestingly, GRBs can also be linked to the formation of heavy elements, as the explosive events create conditions suitable for nucleosynthesis, where lighter elements fuse to form heavier ones. Moreover, researchers are investigating whether GRBs could have influenced the evolution of life on Earth. If a GRB occurred close to our planet, the resulting radiation could have disrupted biological processes, leading to mutations or even mass extinctions. The concept of a GRB kill zone has emerged, suggesting that any starburst occurring within a certain distance from Earth could pose a significant threat. This has raised interesting questions about the frequency of such events and the safety of our planet in the cosmic neighborhood. Astronomers are also looking into the potential for GRBs to ignite star formation in the surrounding interstellar medium. The shock waves produced by a GRB can compress gas and dust clouds, triggering new stars to form. This means that while GRBs can be destructive, they could also play a role in the ongoing cycle of stellar birth and death throughout the cosmos. Additionally, the study of GRBs contributes to our understanding of dark matter and dark energy, as the distribution of gamma ray bursts, GRBs, are among the most powerful and energetic events in the universe, defined as brief but intense flashes of gamma rays, which are the highest energy form of light. They can last from a fraction of a second to several minutes, releasing more energy in a few seconds than our sun will emit over its entire lifetime. These bursts are thought to originate from extremely energetic processes, typically associated with the deaths of massive stars or the mergers of neutron stars. When a massive star runs out of fuel, it can collapse under its own gravity, leading to a supernova explosion. In some cases, the core can collapse to form a black hole, releasing jets of particles that travel nearly at the speed of light. If these jets are pointed toward Earth, we observe the gamma ray burst, GRBs are generally categorized into two main types, long-duration bursts, which last more than two seconds and are believed to be linked to the collapse of massive stars, and short-duration bursts, lasting less than two seconds, which are thought to result from neutron star mergers. The exact mechanisms behind these events are still the subject of ongoing research, but they involve complex astrophysical processes, including the formation of relativistic jets that emit high-energy gamma rays. The study of gamma ray bursts has provided astronomers with valuable insights into the early universe. Many GRBs are located billions of light years away, which means we are observing them as they were in the distant past. This allows scientists to study the conditions of the universe when it was much younger, shedding light on cosmic evolution and the formation of galaxies. The immense energy released during a gamma ray burst can also trigger star formation in surrounding gas clouds, influencing the development of new stars and galaxies. Moreover, the detection and study of GRBs have advanced significantly thanks to space observatories, such as NASA's SWIFT satellite, which was launched in 2004 specifically to monitor and investigate these cosmic phenomena.
SWIFT can quickly locate bursts and relay their positions to other telescopes, enabling a rapid follow-up observation across various wavelengths, from X-rays to optical and radio. This coordinated approach has allowed scientists to gather more data and deepen their understanding of GRBs, revealing their complexities and the role they play in the universe. Interestingly, while GRBs are incredibly powerful, they are also rare events in any given region of space, making the chance of one occurring close enough to pose a threat to Earth extremely low. However, if a gamma-ray burst were to occur within hour, Gamma-ray bursts, some of the most powerful explosions in the universe, were first discovered in the late 1960s. The initial investigation into these mysterious phenomena was spurred by military concerns during the Cold War. The United States had launched a series of satellites, known as the Vela satellites, to monitor compliance with the Nuclear Test Ban Treaty. These satellites were designed to detect the telltale gamma rays emitted by nuclear explosions in space. However, when the Vela satellites recorded intense bursts of gamma rays that could not be linked to any known nuclear activity, scientists were intrigued. The first significant detection occurred on July 2, 1967. The gamma ray bursts emitted incredibly high energy radiation, and their origins were unknown. Researchers began to analyze the data collected by the Vela satellites, trying to decipher the nature of these enigmatic signals. At the time, there was much speculation about their source, some scientists thought they could be from supernovae or other cosmic events. As the investigation continued, it became clear that these bursts were not random occurrences. Their durations varied widely, from mere milliseconds to several minutes, and they appeared to happen at random intervals. This led to further curiosity, prompting astronomers to focus on identifying their celestial origins. By the late 1970s and early 1980s, more sophisticated instruments were deployed, allowing scientists to pinpoint the locations of some of these gamma-ray bursts. The first breakthrough came in 1997 when the Beppo-Sax satellite detected a gamma-ray burst and was able to identify its location in the sky. This breakthrough allowed astronomers to follow up with optical telescopes and discover that some bursts were associated with distant galaxies, specifically linked to massive stars collapsing into black holes or neutron stars. Subsequent observations revealed that gamma-ray bursts were not only extremely energetic but also occurred at tremendous distances, making them some of the most significant events in the universe's history. The study of gamma-ray bursts has evolved rapidly since their initial detection, transforming from a military curiosity into a vibrant field of astronomical research. Today, scientists continue to investigate these cosmic events, seeking to understand their mechanisms and the role they play in the evolution of the universe. The ongoing research into gamma-ray bursts not only sheds light on their origins but also offers insights into the life cycles of stars and the dynamics of galaxies. As technology advances, the mystery surrounding these powerful bursts continues to unfold, revealing the vast and complex nature of the universe. Gamma-ray bursts GRBs, are among the most powerful and energetic events in the universe, and they stand apart from other astronomical phenomena like supernovae and quasars in several distinct ways. While supernovae are massive explosions that occur at the end of a star's life cycle, typically when a star has exhausted its nuclear fuel and collapses, gamma ray bursts are brief but extremely intense bursts of gamma rays, which are the highest energy form of electromagnetic radiation. GRBs can last from milliseconds to several minutes, but their energy output during that short time can exceed that of an entire galaxy for a brief period. This incredible intensity is rooted in the processes that create them, which often involve the collapse of massive stars into black holes or the merger of neutron stars. In contrast, while supernovae occur relatively frequently in the universe, GRBs are much rarer events, with estimates suggesting that a GRB happens in our galaxy only about once every few hundred years. The mechanisms behind GRBs can also differ significantly, for instance, long-duration GRBs are associated with the collapse of a massive star, leading to a black hole and producing a jet of gamma rays that is directed towards Earth. Short-duration GRBs, on the other hand, are believed to arise from the merging of two neutron stars, which also creates a black hole and emits powerful bursts of energy. Quasars, or quasi-stellar objects, are another fascinating phenomenon, 
but they differ fundamentally from GRBs. Quasars are powered by supermassive black holes at the centers of galaxies that are actively accreting material. As matter spirals into a black hole, it heats up and emits tremendous amounts of energy, including visible light and radio waves, making quasars some of the brightest objects in the universe. Unlike GRBs, which are transient and last only a short time, quasars can shine for millions to billions of years, providing a continuous source of light and energy. Moreover, the light emitted by quasars can be seen across vast distances, allowing astronomers to study the early universe, while GRBs, despite their extraordinary brightness, are often localized and may only be detected by specialized instruments designed to catch their fleeting emissions. The study of gamma-ray bursts has led to the discovery of afterglows and other wavelengths, such as X-ray, optical, and radio waves, which can provide additional information about the explosion in its environment. This multi-wavelength observation is crucial in helping scientists. Gamma-ray bursts GRBs, are among the most energetic events in the universe, often lasting from milliseconds to several minutes. They are primarily classified into two main types, long gamma-ray bursts and short gamma-ray bursts, each having distinct mechanisms of formation. Long gamma-ray bursts, which last more than two seconds, are typically associated with the deaths of massive stars. When a star that is at least 30 times the mass of our sun exhausts its nuclear fuel, it can no longer support itself against gravitational collapse. This collapse leads to the formation of a black hole or a neutron star. The material falling into the black hole or neutron star can produce powerful jets of gamma rays that shoot out along the rotation axis of the star. As these jets escape the star's surface and move through the surrounding material, they can generate intense bursts of gamma radiation that we observe from Earth. The collapse and subsequent explosion, known as a supernova, often creates a spectacular visual display, adding to the cosmic drama. On the other hand, short gamma ray bursts, lasting less than two seconds, are believed to originate from the merger of compact binary objects, such as two neutron stars or a neutron star and a black hole. When these dense objects spiral closer together due to gravitational waves, they eventually collide in an explosive event. The merger releases an enormous amount of energy, resulting in a burst of gamma rays. This process is thought to be accompanied by the formation of heavy elements, like gold and platinum, through a phenomenon called nucleosynthesis. The afterglow from these events can be detected in various wavelengths, providing insights into the nature of such collisions and the environments in which they occur. While both types of GRBs release immense amounts of energy and are detectable across vast distances, their origins highlight different aspects of stellar evolution and cosmic interactions. The mechanisms of formation reveal the dynamic and often violent processes that shape the universe, showing how massive stars meet their end and how compact objects can interact in ways that lead to spectacular cosmic displays. Understanding these phenomena not only helps us learn about the life cycles of stars but also sheds light on the fundamental forces at play in the cosmos. Massive stars are crucial players in the dramatic events that lead to long gamma-ray bursts, GRBs, which are among the most powerful explosions in the universe. These stars, often at least 20 times the mass of our Sun, have a life cycle that ends with a spectacular collapse. As they age, they go through various stages of nuclear fusion, burning heavier elements in their cores until they can no longer sustain the nuclear reactions that keep them stable. When a massive star exhausts its nuclear fuel, it can no longer support itself against the force of gravity, leading to a supernova explosion. However, in the case of long gamma-ray bursts, this supernova is just one part of a more complex process. The core of the massive star collapses to form either a neutron star or a black hole, and this is where the magic happens. The collapse creates an extremely dense and hot environment, which can produce jets of matter moving at nearly the speed of light. These jets are formed when the energy released during the collapse is channeled along the rotation axis of the star, resulting in collimated bursts of high-energy radiation. As these jets escape the star, they interact with the surrounding material, creating shock waves that can produce intense gamma-ray emissions. For a long gamma-ray burst to occur, the star must be massive enough to produce these powerful jets. It's important to note that not all massive stars result in GRBs, and the precise conditions needed are still a topic of research. 
The surrounding environment also plays a significant role. For instance, a massive star in a dense stellar region is more likely to create a long GRB than one in a sparse area. Moreover, the speed at which the star rotates can influence the formation of jets. Rapidly spinning stars are more efficient at funneling energy into jets, increasing the likelihood of a burst. The energy output of long gamma-ray bursts is staggering, often outshining entire galaxies for a brief period. They can last from seconds to several minutes and are detectable across vast distances, allowing astronomers to study the early universe. The occurrence of these events is relatively rare, but when they do happen, they can provide valuable information about the life cycles of massive stars, the formation of black holes, and the conditions present in the early universe. Researchers continue to investigate the link between massive stars and gamma-ray bursts, utilizing advanced telescopes and observational techniques to gather data and improve our understanding of these fascinating cosmic phenomena. Short gamma-ray bursts GRBs, are among the most energetic events in the universe, and they last only a few seconds, making them particularly fascinating to astronomers. These bursts are believed to originate from specific catastrophic events involving the death of massive stars or the collision of compact objects. Unlike long gamma-ray bursts, which are linked to the collapse of massive stars into black holes, short GRBs typically occur due to the merger of two neutron stars or a neutron star and a black hole. When two neutron stars orbit one another, they gradually lose energy through gravitational waves until they spiral closer together. As they approach, their gravitational forces become incredibly intense, leading to a final collision that produces a tremendous release of energy. This energy is emitted in the form of gamma rays, which we detect as short GRBs. The merger process may also create a kilonova, which is an explosive event that produces heavy elements like gold and platinum, contributing to the cosmic inventory of these materials. Additionally, the merging of a neutron star and a black hole can also lead to similar bursts. The neutron star, being much denser than ordinary matter, can be torn apart by the black hole's gravitational pull, resulting in a violent explosion that emits gamma rays. In both scenarios, the progenitor systems are composed of dense, compact objects that, upon merging, unleash enormous amounts of energy in the gamma ray spectrum. The discovery of short gamma-ray bursts has been enhanced by the use of advanced telescopes and detectors, which allow astronomers to pinpoint their locations in the sky and study the aftermath of these collisions. Observations often reveal the presence of afterglow and other wavelengths, such as X-ray and optical, providing further insights into the physical processes at play. Research continues to uncover the different environments where these mergers occur, typically in regions rich in star formation. The pairing of neutron stars or a neutron star with a black hole often happens in dense stellar clusters where gravitational interactions can lead to the formation of these binary systems. Understanding short gamma-ray bursts not only sheds light on the violent processes in the universe but also helps astronomers piece together the life cycles of stars and the formation of heavy elements that are crucial for the evolution of galaxies and planetary systems. Gamma-ray bursts GRBs, are among the most energetic events in the universe, releasing immense amounts of energy in a very short time. These bursts can release more energy in just a few seconds than our sun will emit over its entire lifetime of about 10 billion years. The significance of this energy release lies in the fact that it provides valuable insights into some of the most extreme conditions in the cosmos. GRBs are thought to occur during cataclysmic events, such as the collapse of massive stars into black holes or the merger of neutron stars, and studying them helps astronomers understand the processes that govern stellar evolution and the life cycles of galaxies. When a GRB occurs, it emits high-energy gamma radiation in two narrow beams, creating a brilliant flash that can outshine an entire galaxy for a brief moment. This intense energy release is not only a spectacle but also a source of information. The light we receive from these bursts can tell scientists about the composition of the universe, the formation of elements, and even the expansion of space itself. In comparison to other cosmic events, such as supernovae or the collision of galaxies, GRBs are unique due to their extraordinary brightness and their ability to be observed from vast distances, allowing researchers to study them across the observable universe.
Another aspect that makes GRB significant is their potential implications for understanding dark matter and dark energy. By examining the afterglow of GRBs, astronomers can gather data that may shed light on these mysterious components of the universe. The energy produced during a GRB can also trigger the formation of new stars, influencing the evolution of galaxies over billions of years. This interplay between destruction and creation highlights the dynamic nature of the universe. Furthermore, GRBs serve as cosmic distance markers. When astronomers observe a GRB, they can calculate how far away the burst occurred based on its light curve and the redshift of its light. This information is crucial for mapping the large-scale structure of the universe and understanding its expansion. In essence, the energy released during a gamma-ray burst is not just a fleeting event, it is a key to unlocking some of the universe's deepest mysteries, connecting us to the fundamental processes that shape our cosmic environment. Gamma-ray bursts GRBs, are among the most powerful explosions in the universe, and their effects on the surrounding interstellar medium can be profound and far-reaching. When a gamma-ray burst occurs, it releases a tremendous amount of energy in the form of gamma rays, which can travel vast distances across the cosmos. This intense energy can cause significant changes in the surrounding space environment. As the gamma rays interact with the interstellar medium, they ionize the surrounding gas, stripping electrons from atoms and creating a region of highly energized particles. This ionization can lead to the formation of shock waves, which propagate outward at extremely high speeds, compressing and heating the interstellar gas and dust in their path. The shock waves generated by a GRB can sweep up material and trigger star formation in regions that were previously quiet. As the shock front moves through the interstellar medium, it can compress clouds of gas, increasing their density and temperature. This compression can lead to the collapse of these clouds, potentially igniting new stars in the process. In some cases, if the conditions are right, this can result in the formation of massive stars that themselves may end their lives in supernova explosions, creating a cycle of birth and death in the cosmos. Moreover, the intense radiation from a gamma-ray burst can destroy the molecular clouds that are essential for star formation. The radiation can dissociate molecules, breaking them apart and disrupting the material needed for stars to form. This destruction can alter the chemical makeup of the region and create a barren environment, at least temporarily. Additionally, the energy released during a GRB can cause changes in the temperature and pressure of the surrounding gas, affecting its dynamics and evolution. After the initial burst, the remnants of the gamma-ray explosion can continue to influence the environment for millions of years. The energy release can drive outflows of gas and dust, enriching the interstellar medium with heavy elements created during the supernova phase. This enrichment is crucial for the formation of new stars and planets, as these materials are the building blocks for future generations of celestial bodies. Furthermore, the remnant afterglow of the GRB, which can be observed in various wavelengths, may reveal insights into the nature of the interstellar medium and its interactions with energetic cosmic events. In summary, gamma-ray bursts are not just spectacular events in the universe, they play a significant role in shaping the interstellar medium. Their powerful energy can lead to both destruction and creation, influencing star formation, altering the Astronomers have gathered compelling evidence for the distances and energies of gamma-ray bursts GRBs, which are among the most powerful explosions in the universe. One of the key methods they use to determine the distances to these bursts is through a technique called redshift measurement. When a GRB occurs, it emits light and other forms of radiation that travel through space. As this light moves towards us, the expansion of the universe stretches the wavelengths, causing them to shift toward the red end of the spectrum. By analyzing the spectrum of the light emitted during a GRB, astronomers can measure this redshift. The greater the shift, the farther away the burst is, providing insight into its distance from Earth. This method has led to the discovery of GRBs occurring billions of light years away, indicating that these events can happen very early in the universe's history. In addition to redshift measurements, astronomers use the concept of standard candles to estimate distances to GRBs. Standard candles are astronomical objects with known brightness. When a GRB is observed, researchers can compare its observed brightness to its intrinsic brightness. 
If the GRB is very bright, it can be assumed to be farther away, while a dimmer GRB might be closer. This technique allows astronomers to create a more complete picture of the distances involved. As for the energies of GRBs, these are often measured by analyzing the gamma rays emitted during the explosion. GRBs release an incredible amount of energy, often more than the sun will produce in its entire lifetime. Scientists calculate the energy output by examining the intensity of the gamma rays detected by specialized space telescopes and instruments designed for high-energy astrophysics. The data collected helps researchers understand the mechanics of these bursts and categorize them into different types based on their energies and durations. Furthermore, the correlation between the energy of the gamma rays and the afterglow emissions observed in X-ray, optical, and radio wavelengths provides additional clues about the physical processes at play. After a GRB, the surrounding environment emits light as the shock wave interacts with nearby material, which can be observed across various wavelengths. By studying these afterglow emissions, astronomers can infer both the energy released during the burst and the distance to the event. Recent advances in technology, including the use of satellites like the Swift Observatory and the Fermi Gamma Ray Space Telescope, have significantly enhanced our ability to detect and analyze GRBs. These instruments are equipped to capture the initial gamma ray flash as well as the gamma ray bursts. GRBs are among the most energetic explosions in the universe, often associated with the collapse of massive stars or the merger of neutron stars. When a GRB occurs, it releases an enormous amount of energy in the form of gamma rays, which are high-energy photons. These bursts can outshine entire galaxies for a brief period, making them a fascinating subject of study in astrophysics. The intense energy and conditions created during these explosions play a crucial role in the synthesis of heavy elements, contributing to the cosmic chemical evolution we observe today. During a gamma ray burst, the extreme temperatures and pressures can lead to a variety of nuclear reactions. As the burst propagates through space, it creates shockwaves that can collide with surrounding gas and dust, heating them to extraordinary levels. This environment is conducive to nucleosynthesis, the process by which new atomic nuclei are formed. One of the key processes during a GRB is rapid neutron capture, also known as the R process. In this process, atomic nuclei capture neutrons rapidly before they have a chance to decay. This can lead to the formation of very heavy elements, including gold, platinum, and uranium. Moreover, the remnants of these explosions can enrich the interstellar medium with heavy elements. When the immense energy of a gamma-ray burst interacts with surrounding material, it can create conditions that allow for the synthesis of these elements. Eventually, the materials ejected by the GRB mix with the interstellar gas, contributing to the elemental makeup of new stars and planets. This means that the heavy elements formed in the aftermath of such events can eventually be incorporated into the next generation of celestial bodies, including possibly our own solar system. Interestingly, the presence of GRBs in the universe has implications for our understanding of cosmic evolution. They can serve as signposts in the history of the universe, indicating areas where intense star formation has taken place. The heavy elements produced in these events are vital for the formation of planets and the development of life as we know it. Without the contributions of gamma ray bursts and their associated nucleosynthesis processes, the universe will be a much different place, lacking the rich variety of elements that are essential for the complexity of matter we observe today. As we continue to study GRBs, astronomers hope to uncover more about their role in the cosmos. The detection of these bursts has improved with advancements in technology, allowing scientists to analyze the light and other emissions from these events in unprecedented detail. Each GRB provides. A gamma ray burst, GRB, is one of the most energetic explosions in the universe, capable of releasing more energy in a few seconds than the sun will emit over its entire lifetime. If a GRB were to occur within our galaxy, say within a few thousand light years from Earth, the potential effects could be quite significant. First and foremost, the intense gamma radiation emitted by such an event could have devastating consequences for our planet's atmosphere. The radiation could ionize the atoms in the upper atmosphere, leading to the production of nitrogen oxides, which could deplete the ozone layer. This depletion would allow harmful ultraviolet, 
UV, radiation from the sun to penetrate deeper into the atmosphere, increasing the chances of skin cancer and other health issues for living organisms, particularly on the surface. Moreover, the energy from a GRB could trigger a cascade of reactions in the atmosphere, potentially leading to the formation of acid rain. This acidic precipitation would be harmful to both terrestrial and aquatic ecosystems, disrupting food chains and affecting biodiversity. Additionally, if a GRB were to occur close enough, it could disrupt the delicate balance of life on Earth by affecting climate patterns. The intense radiation could lead to a sudden change in temperatures, potentially causing a mass extinction event similar to those seen in Earth's history. The electromagnetic radiation from a GRB could also affect satellite communications and power grids. The burst could induce electrical currents in the Earth's atmosphere, leading to widespread electromagnetic interference. This could damage satellites, disrupt GPS systems, and even cause power outages. Such an event would challenge our technological infrastructure, making recovery efforts complicated and costly. Interestingly, scientists have been studying ancient geological records and the possibility of past GRBs affecting Earth. Some researchers believe that certain mass extinction events could have been influenced by nearby gamma-ray bursts, suggesting that life has faced significant challenges due to cosmic events. These historical insights help us understand the potential risks associated with GRBs and how they could impact not just our planet, but also the evolution of life itself. While the likelihood of a GRB occurring close enough to Earth to cause serious harm is considered to be low, the study of these cosmic phenomena continues to be a critical area of research. Understanding the nature of GRBs and their potential effects reinforces the importance of monitoring and studying space events, as they remind us of the powerful forces at play in the universe and the fragility of life on our planet. The exploration of gamma-ray bursts not only contributes to our knowledge of astrophysics but also. Gamma-ray bursts GRBs, are among the most energetic events in the universe, releasing immense amounts of gamma radiation in a short period. These bursts occur in distant galaxies, usually during the death throes of massive stars or when neutron stars collide. Although they are incredibly rare, if a GRB were to happen close enough to Earth, within a few thousand light years, it could have significant implications for our planet, particularly for the atmosphere and the ozone layer. The ozone layer, which protects life on Earth from harmful ultraviolet UV, radiation, could be severely affected by a nearby gamma-ray burst. The intense gamma radiation would interact with the atmosphere, leading to a series of chemical reactions. One of the primary concerns is that the energy from the GRB could break apart nitrogen and oxygen molecules in the atmosphere. This process could lead to a depletion of ozone, as these reactions can produce nitrogen oxides, which are known to catalyze the breakdown of ozone molecules. As the ozone layer diminishes, more UV radiation would reach the surface of the Earth. Increased UV radiation poses a threat to living organisms, particularly to those at the surface, as it can lead to higher rates of skin cancer in humans and other animals, disrupt the growth of phytoplankton in the oceans, and affect plant life on land. This reduction in ozone could have cascading effects on ecosystems, food chains, and overall biodiversity. Moreover, the impact of a GRB might not be limited to ozone depletion alone. The energy from such an event could also induce changes in the atmosphere's temperature and pressure. This could lead to unusual weather patterns or even more severe climate changes. The interaction of gamma rays with atmospheric particles might create secondary radiation and particles, further complicating the situation and possibly introducing more harmful effects on both the atmosphere and the biosphere. While scientists keep a vigilant eye on potential gamma-ray bursts in our galaxy, the good news is that the chances of a GRB occurring close enough to Earth to cause significant damage are exceedingly low. Nonetheless, the research into the potential impacts of such cosmic events helps us understand not just the dangers posed by the universe but also the resilience of our planet's systems. The study of these phenomena reveals the intricate balance that exists in our atmosphere and encourages ongoing exploration into how we can protect the delicate layers that sustain life on Earth. Gamma-ray bursts GRBs, are among the most powerful explosions in the universe, releasing immense amounts of energy and radiation in a very short time. 
When a GRB occurs, it can emit gamma rays that travel across vast distances, potentially reaching Earth if the burst is sufficiently close. The biological impacts of these events on life forms on our planet are a topic of significant interest and concern among scientists. Although such bursts are rare and typically happen far away from Earth, their potential effects can be profound. One immediate concern is the intense radiation emitted by a nearby GRB, which could penetrate the Earth's atmosphere and cause damage to living organisms. This radiation can disrupt cellular structures, leading to mutations in DNA, which can result in cancer or other genetic disorders over generations. Moreover, if a GRB were to occur within a few thousand light years from our planet, the increased levels of gamma radiation could deplete the ozone layer, which acts as a shield against harmful ultraviolet UV, radiation from the sun. A weakened ozone layer would allow more UV rays to reach the Earth's surface, which could severely impact ecosystems, particularly those dependent on photosynthesis. Plants, the foundational producers in the food chain, would struggle to survive under increased UV exposure. This disruption could cascade through various food webs, affecting herbivores and the predators that rely on them. Further exploration into the effects of GRBs considers their potential to trigger mass extinctions. Throughout Earth's history, there have been periods of significant biological turnover, and some scientists suggest that events like gamma-ray bursts could have played a role in these extinctions. If life were to be significantly harmed by radiation exposure, it might lead to a reduction in biodiversity and the collapse of ecosystems. In addition to direct radiation effects, GRBs could also influence climate. The energy released from a nearby burst could heat the atmosphere, potentially altering weather patterns and increasing the frequency of storms. Changes in climate could further stress ecosystems already vulnerable to radiation. Interestingly, some researchers are looking into the possibility that life on Earth has evolved in response to cosmic events, including GRBs. This means that while such events could have catastrophic consequences, they might also drive evolutionary changes, leading to resilience among certain species. Finally, while the probability of a gamma-ray burst affecting Earth is low, the scientific community continues to study these events, not only to understand their potential impacts on life but also to gain insights into the fundamental processes of the universe. As we observe distant GRBs, Gamma-ray bursts GRBs, are among the most energetic events in the universe, releasing immense amounts of energy in a matter of seconds or minutes. Their duration can vary significantly, with some lasting just a fraction of a second and others persisting for several minutes. The impact of a gamma-ray burst on Earth largely depends on its duration and the intensity of the radiation emitted. A short-duration GRB, which typically lasts less than two seconds, is often associated with the collapse of massive stars into black holes. These brief bursts can release energy equivalent to that of millions of supernovae, but because they are so short-lived, their effects on Earth are often minimal unless the burst is extremely close to our planet. The radiation emitted during these short bursts primarily consists of gamma rays, which can penetrate the Earth's atmosphere. However, if such an event were to occur at a distance of a few thousand light years, the atmosphere would likely absorb most of the harmful radiation before it could reach the surface. On the other hand, long-duration gamma-ray bursts, which can last from a few seconds to several minutes, are typically linked to the death of massive stars and the formation of neutron stars or black holes. These longer bursts can pose a greater risk to Earth, especially if they occur in our galaxy or in a nearby galaxy. The sustained release of energy means that there is a more prolonged exposure to gamma radiation. If a long-duration GRB were to happen within a distance of about 6,000 light years, it could potentially have serious consequences for life on Earth. The intense gamma radiation could deplete the ozone layer, allowing harmful ultraviolet radiation from the sun to reach the surface. This could lead to increased rates of cancer and other health issues for living organisms, as well as disruptions to ecosystems. Interestingly, while the direct effects of gamma-ray bursts are concerning, scientists also study their potential for creating certain types of cosmic phenomena. For instance, some researchers speculate that the shockwaves produced by the high-energy emissions could trigger star formation in surrounding gas clouds, leading to the birth of new stars and planetary systems.
This means that while the immediate impact of a gamma ray burst might be harmful, it could also play a role in the larger cosmic cycle of creation and destruction. The rarity of gamma ray bursts adds another layer of intrigue. They are estimated to occur about once every few hundred million years in a galaxy like ours, making the likelihood of a GRB impacting Earth relatively low. However, knowing that these gamma ray bursts, GRBs, are among the most energetic events in the universe, and their potential impact on Earth has intrigued scientists for years. These bursts of gamma radiation, originating from distant cosmic events such as supernovae or merging neutron stars, can release as much energy in a few seconds as the sun will emit over its entire lifetime. Some researchers have proposed that past gamma ray bursts may have played a role in significant extinction events on Earth, particularly due to the intense radiation and its effects on the planet's atmosphere and biosphere. One of the primary extinction events linked to the possibility of gamma ray bursts is the Ordovician Silurian extinction, which occurred around 440 million years ago. This event saw a significant loss of marine species, and some scientists suggest that a nearby gamma ray burst may have contributed to this by stripping away the ozone layer, allowing harmful ultraviolet UV, radiation from the sun to reach the surface and devastate life in the oceans. Another significant extinction event that has been hypothesized to be influenced by gamma rays is the late Devonian extinction, which took place roughly 375 million years ago. This event was prolonged and led to the decline of many marine species. The theory posits that a GRB occurring within a few thousand light years of Earth could have caused environmental stress through increased UV radiation or other atmospheric changes, which would have been detrimental to life forms at the time. Perhaps the most discussed is the Permian-Triassic extinction event, known as the Great Dying, which occurred about 252 million years ago and is considered the most severe extinction in Earth's history. Some scientists speculate that a gamma ray burst could have been a contributing factor to this mass extinction. The hypothesis suggests that a GRB in our galaxy, possibly from a nearby supernova, could have caused massive ecological disruption. The intense radiation from such an event could have led to a breakdown of the ozone layer, resulting in increased UV radiation that would have severely affected both terrestrial and marine ecosystems. This environmental stress may have exacerbated other leading factors, such as volcanic activity and climate change, contributing to the widespread loss of biodiversity. Similarly, the Triassic-Jurassic extinction event, occurring around 201 million years ago, has also been linked to the potential effects of gamma ray bursts. The idea here is that a GRB could induce significant climate changes, affecting the carbon cycle and leading to a rise in temperatures or altering atmospheric chemistry which would severely challenge the existing flora. Scientists estimate the frequency of gamma ray bursts GRBs, in the universe using a combination of observational data and statistical modeling. GRBs are incredibly powerful explosions that occur in distant galaxies, and they release a tremendous amount of energy, often outshining entire galaxies for a brief period. To understand how often these events happen, researchers first rely on telescopes that are designed to detect the high-energy gamma rays emitted during these bursts. Instruments like NASA's SWIFT satellite and the Fermi Gamma Ray Space Telescope have been pivotal in gathering data on GRBs since their launch. When a gamma ray burst is detected, astronomers analyze its light curve, which shows how the brightness of the burst changes over time. This information helps scientists determine the distance of the GRB and its total energy output. By observing GRBs across different regions of the sky and at various distances, scientists can create a catalog of these events. However, because GRBs are rare, they often need to rely on models and simulations to fill in the gaps. To estimate the frequency of GRBs, researchers use a method called the cosmological rate. This involves looking at the rate of GRBs detected at different redshifts, which correspond to different distances and times in the universe's history. By understanding how light travels over vast distances, scientists can calculate how many bursts are likely occurring but remain undetected because they are too faint or too distant. They apply statistical techniques to extrapolate from the observed data to the entire universe. 
Additionally, scientists consider different types of GRBs, such as short-duration bursts, which last less than two seconds and are believed to be caused by the merger of neutron stars, and long-duration bursts, which can last several minutes and are thought to originate from supernova explosions. Each type may have a different frequency and distribution across the universe, further complicating estimates. Another crucial factor in estimating frequencies involves the understanding of the star formation rate in the universe. Since GRBs are associated with massive stars that end their lives in spectacular explosions, scientists study how often stars form in different regions of the universe. By linking the frequency of star formation to the occurrence of GRBs, they can make more accurate predictions about how often these events happen on cosmic scales. In recent years, advancements in technology and data analysis have improved the accuracy of these estimates. As more telescopes and observational missions come online, researchers are likely to refine their understanding of GRB frequencies, potentially leading to new discoveries about the nature of these. Gamma ray bursts GRBs, are among the most energetic events in the universe, and studying them requires sophisticated observational techniques due to their fleeting nature and the extreme energies they release. One primary method of detecting GRBs involves satellite-based observatories equipped with gamma-ray detectors. These satellites, such as the Fermi Gamma-ray Space Telescope and the Swift Observatory, monitor the sky for sudden bursts of gamma rays. When a GRB occurs, these observatories quickly pinpoint its location and collect data on its intensity and duration. The satellites use various detectors, including scintillation counters and semiconductor detectors, which are sensitive to high-energy photons, allowing them to capture the brief but intense emissions from these cosmic explosions. Once a GRB is detected, ground-based and space-based telescopes are utilized to follow up on the event. Telescopes that observe in different wavelengths, such as optical, infrared, and radio, are critical for studying the afterglow of the GRB, which can last days to months after the initial explosion. For example, when the SWIFT satellite detects a GRB, it can quickly redirect its instruments to observe the afterglow, while simultaneously alerting ground-based observatories to do the same. This multi-wavelength approach provides valuable insights into the GRB's properties, such as its distance, energy output, and the environment surrounding the explosion. Another important technique involves the use of gravitational wave detectors. Some GRBs are associated with events like neutron star mergers, which can produce gravitational waves detectable by observatories like LIGO and Virgo. By coordinating the detection of gravitational waves with gamma-ray observations, scientists can gather a more comprehensive understanding of the event's mechanics and the physical processes involved. Additionally, the study of GRBs benefits from ongoing advancements in technology, such as the development of new detectors and algorithms that can analyze vast amounts of data more efficiently. Machine learning techniques are increasingly employed to improve the identification of GRBs and reduce the time it takes to respond to these cosmic events. This rapid response is crucial because GRBs can fade quickly, and capturing their afterglow in various wavelengths allows astronomers to piece together the puzzle of what caused the burst and how it fits into the larger context of cosmic evolution. Moreover, dedicated GRB networks, which consist of multiple observatories around the world, work collaboratively to monitor the sky for these bursts. This global effort enhances the chances of detecting a GRB and ensures that follow-up observations occur promptly, maximizing the amount of data scientists can gather. Gamma-ray bursts GRBs, are among the most powerful explosions in the universe, releasing immense amounts of energy in a short time. When a massive star runs out of fuel, it can collapse into a black hole, triggering a supernova and potentially leading to a gamma-ray burst. The intense radiation from these bursts can have significant effects on their surroundings, influencing the evolution of galaxies over cosmic time. When a GRB occurs, it emits beams of gamma rays that can travel vast distances across space. If a GRB happens close enough to a galaxy, its radiation can impact the interstellar medium, which is the gas and dust that exists between stars. This radiation can heat the surrounding gas to extremely high temperatures, pushing it away from the burst site and creating shock waves. 
These shock waves can compress nearby gas, potentially triggering new star formation as the material clumps together under the influence of gravity. Moreover, GRBs can also ionize the surrounding gas, stripping electrons from atoms and altering the chemical composition of the area. This alteration can influence the material available for future star formation, possibly leading to the creation of different types of stars or even altering the ratios of elements within the galaxy. As these new stars form and evolve, they contribute further to the galaxy's chemical enrichment, affecting the overall evolution of the galaxy over billions of years. Additionally, gamma-ray bursts can serve as markers for the locations of early star formation in the universe. Galaxies that host GRBs are often rich in young, massive stars, which indicates regions of intense star formation activity. By studying these bursts, astronomers can gain insights into the processes that govern star formation and the life cycle of galaxies. Over cosmic time, the cumulative effects of many gamma-ray bursts can alter the structure and dynamics of galaxies. For example, repeated bursts can lead to the dispersal of gas, affecting the galaxy's ability to form new stars. The energy released by multiple GRBs may also contribute to the heating of the intergalactic medium, influencing how galaxies interact with their environment. In a broader sense, the influence of GRBs on galaxy evolution is part of the larger narrative of cosmic evolution, where powerful events shape the growth and development of galaxies across the universe. The study of gamma-ray bursts and their effects provides a window into understanding the complex interplay of forces that drive the evolution of galaxies, making them a critical area of research for astronomers interested in the history and future of the cosmos. Gamma-ray bursts GRBs are incredibly powerful explosions that occur in distant galaxies and are among the most energetic events in the universe. When we talk about cosmic background radiation, we usually think of the faint afterglow of the Big Bang, the remnant heat that fills the universe, known as the Cosmic Microwave Background Radiation CMB. While GRBs are not directly responsible for the CMB, they do play an interesting role in the overall energy dynamics and evolution of the universe. As GRBs release immense amounts of energy, they can influence the interstellar medium and the environments of their host galaxies. These bursts emit gamma rays that can ionize surrounding gas, creating shock waves that ripple through space. The intense energy from a GRB can trigger star formation in nearby regions, leading to the creation of new stars and potentially new planets. This process alters the composition and structure of galaxies over time, contributing to the cosmic tapestry we observe today. Moreover, the high energy emissions from GRBs can interact with the cosmic microwave background radiation itself. When gamma rays collide with photons from the CMB, they can create pairs of particles, a phenomenon known as pair production. This interaction can slightly affect the density and distribution of cosmic radiation, although these changes are typically small and occur over vast distances and time scales. Additionally, GRBs can serve as markers for understanding the large-scale structure of the universe. By studying the afterglow of these bursts, astronomers can glean information about the expansion of the universe and its contents. Each GRB can provide clues about the environments in which they occur, helping scientists map out regions of high-density gas and dark matter. This mapping is crucial for understanding how galaxies form and evolve over billions of years. The light emitted from GRBs can also be redshifted, meaning that as the universe expands, the wavelengths of the light stretch, allowing astronomers to gather information about the distance and speed of these cosmic events. This data can contribute to our knowledge of cosmic history, including the formation and evolution of the universe's structure, ultimately linking back to the cosmic background radiation we observe today. In summary, while gamma-ray bursts do not create cosmic background radiation, they have a significant influence on the universe's evolution and structure, affecting the environments of galaxies and interacting with the cosmic microwave background. Through their powerful emissions and the effects they have on surrounding matter, GRBs help shape our understanding of the cosmos, providing insights into the fundamental processes that govern the universe. Gamma-ray bursts GRBs, are among the most energetic events in the universe, and they offer fascinating connection to concepts like cosmic inflation and the expansion of the universe. To understand this relationship, we first need to explore what gamma-ray bursts are. 
they are intense flashes of gamma rays, which are the highest energy form of light, and they can release more energy in a few seconds than our sun will emit over its entire lifetime. These bursts usually occur in distant galaxies and can be caused by events like the collapse of massive stars or the merger of neutron stars. Now, cosmic inflation is a theory that suggests the universe underwent a rapid expansion just after the Big Bang, growing exponentially in size in a fraction of a second. This inflationary period led to the smooth and homogeneous universe we observe today. The connection between GRBs and cosmic inflation lies in the understanding of the universe's evolution over time. Because GRBs are linked to the formation and death of massive stars, they can serve as markers for the rate of star formation in the early universe. As the universe expanded, the density of matter and energy changed, which in turn influenced the formation of galaxies and stars. The light from GRBs, traveling across vast distances, provides astronomers with crucial information about the conditions of the universe at different stages of its history. By studying the light curves and spectra of GRBs, scientists can learn about the environments in which these bursts occur, including the presence of elements created in the early universe. This information can also shed light on how galaxies formed and evolved as the universe expanded following inflation. Moreover, the distribution of gamma-ray bursts can offer insights into the structure of the universe on large scales. The data from GRBs can help cosmologists understand the expansion rate of the universe. A phenomenon known as redshift is used to measure how much the universe has expanded since the light from a GRB was emitted. When a GRB is observed, its light can be shifted towards the red end of the spectrum due to the expansion of space itself. By analyzing this redshift, scientists can determine how far away the burst occurred and how quickly the universe has been expanding over time. In this way, gamma-ray bursts not only provide information about individual stellar events but also contribute to our understanding of cosmic history and the processes that shaped the universe after the Big Bang. They are a key piece in the puzzle of cosmic evolution, linking the violent processes of star formation and destruction with the broader narrative of how the universe has. Gamma-ray bursts, GRBs, are among the most powerful explosions in the universe, releasing enormous amounts of energy in the form of gamma rays. These bursts typically occur when massive stars collapse to form black holes or when neutron stars collide. Their implications for the search for extraterrestrial life are intriguing and multifaceted. One of the most significant concerns is that GRBs can have a devastating effect on planets within their vicinity, particularly those that might harbor life. For instance, if a gamma-ray burst were to occur close enough to Earth, the intense radiation could strip away the atmosphere, exposing the surface to harmful cosmic rays. This could potentially lead to mass extinction events, wiping out complex life forms and drastically altering the conditions necessary for life to thrive. However, the implications of GRBs go beyond just destruction. The energy released in these events can also trigger the formation of new stars and, subsequently, new planetary systems. In this way, while GRBs can be catastrophic, they also play a role in the cosmic cycle of creation and destruction. The regions affected by GRBs might eventually give rise to planets with the right conditions for life, albeit millions of years later. This suggests that GRBs could be both a barrier to life in certain areas of the universe and a catalyst for new life in others. Moreover, studying gamma-ray bursts can help scientists understand the conditions under which life might arise. By examining the effects of GRBs on different celestial bodies, researchers can gain insight into how life could survive extreme conditions or how life might evolve in environments that have been shaped by such powerful events. For instance, life on planets that have been exposed to GRBs may develop unique adaptations to cope with intense radiation levels, leading to novel biological processes that we have yet to discover. The search for extraterrestrial life is also influenced by the locations of GRBs. Astronomers can use observations of gamma-ray bursts to identify regions in the universe where life might be more or less likely to exist. Areas that have experienced GRBs might be less likely to support life, especially if the bursts occurred within a few million years, while regions further away from such events could be more promising. As we continue to explore the universe, understanding the history of GRBs in various galaxies could help narrow down the search for habitable worlds.
Furthermore, the detection of gamma rays from distant bursts provides a unique opportunity to study the universe's expansion and the formation of galaxies, which are essential factors in the search for life. The data. Gamma ray bursts, GRBs, are among the most energetic explosions in the universe, typically occurring when massive stars collapse into black holes or when neutron stars collide. These bursts release an incredible amount of energy in the form of gamma rays, which can have profound effects on their surroundings. When a GRB occurs in a galaxy, the intense radiation can influence the process of star formation in a variety of ways. The gamma rays can heat up the surrounding gas and dust, causing it to become ionized. This ionization can strip atoms of their electrons, leading to a significant increase in the temperature of the interstellar medium. As a result, the gas may become less dense and less likely to collapse under its own gravity, which is a key requirement for star formation. Additionally, the shock waves produced by the explosion can compress nearby gas clouds, potentially triggering new star formation in regions that were previously stable. This process, known as triggered star formation, occurs when the force of the shockwave compresses the gas enough to overcome its internal pressure, leading to gravitational collapse and the birth of new stars. However, the influence of a GRB is not universally beneficial, the intense radiation can also destroy existing stars and planets in the vicinity if they are too close. The high-energy gamma rays can strip away atmospheres from developing planets, making it difficult for them to retain the conditions necessary for life. Moreover, the aftermath of a GRB can lead to the formation of supernova remnants, which enrich the surrounding medium with heavy elements synthesized in the explosion. This enriched material can then contribute to the formation of new stars and planetary systems, potentially leading to a cycle of destruction and rebirth within the galaxy. Interestingly, while GRBs can have destructive effects, they can also contribute to the overall evolution of galaxies by influencing star formation rates and the distribution of elements in the cosmos. The frequency and distribution of gamma ray bursts in the universe are also relevant to star formation. Since GRBs are associated with regions of high star formation activity, their occurrence is often linked to the lives and deaths of massive stars in star forming regions. As such, studying GRBs can provide insights into the dynamics of star formation in different environments, including the early universe, where massive stars were more common. Overall, while gamma ray bursts can pose a threat to nearby star systems, they also play a complex role in shaping the environments where new stars are born, illustrating the dynamic and interconnected nature of cosmic events. Gamma ray bursts GRBs are among the most energetic events in the universe, and their connection to black hole formation is a fascinating area of study. When massive stars reach the end of their life cycles, they undergo a supernova explosion, which can sometimes lead to the formation of a black hole. During this explosive process, the core of the star collapses under the force of gravity, and if the mass is sufficient, it can create a black hole. In this scenario, Gamma ray bursts can occur when the core collapses and the outer layers of the star fall inward, creating jets of particles that are ejected at nearly the speed of light. These jets release enormous amounts of energy, resulting in the gamma radiation that we detect as a GRB. There are two main types of gamma ray bursts, long-duration GRBs, which are typically associated with the collapse of massive stars, and short-duration GRBs, which are believed to result from the merger of compact objects such as neutron stars. Long-duration GRBs provide a more direct link to black hole formation. When the star collapses, the energy released in the form of gamma rays can be seen across vast distances, making these events some of the most luminous in the universe. The connection is not just about the energy release, it also offers clues about the processes that govern stellar evolution and the life cycle of galaxies. Interestingly, GRBs are often found in regions of high star formation, indicating that they are linked to young, massive stars. The environments where these bursts occur are rich in gas and dust, which are essential for star formation. This adds another layer of complexity to our understanding of the universe, as these bursts not only signify the death of a massive star but also contribute to the recycling of materials in the cosmos, helping to form new stars and planets. The study of GRBs has also led to the development of theories regarding the nature of black holes themselves. 
For instance, some researchers suggest that the energy output from a GRB could provide insights into the properties of black holes, including their mass and spin. Detecting these bursts allows astronomers to probe the conditions surrounding black holes and understand how they influence their surroundings. One of the exciting aspects of GRBs is their potential as cosmic beacons. Because they are so bright, they can be used to probe the early universe and understand the formation of structures in space. When a GRB occurs, it can illuminate the gas and dust around it, making it easier for astronomy. Astronomers employ several techniques to differentiate between the afterglows of gamma ray bursts, GRBs, and other transient astronomical events, which can often appear quite similar at first glance. One key method involves the observation of the electromagnetic spectrum. After a gamma ray burst occurs, it usually emits a burst of gamma rays followed by an afterglow in longer wavelengths, such as X-rays, optical, and radio waves. The light curve and spectral characteristics of the afterglow provide important clues. GRB afterglows typically exhibit a specific progression in brightness over time, starting very intensely and then gradually fading, following a power law decline. This behavior is distinct from other transient events like supernovae, which often have a different light curve that might rise and fall more slowly and steadily. Additionally, the location of the event plays a significant role in identifying its nature. GRBs are often found in star-forming regions of distant galaxies, suggesting they are linked to the deaths of massive stars, specifically the collapse of a massive star leading to a black hole or neutron star. In contrast, other transient phenomena, such as novae or supernovae, might occur in different environments, often related to binary star systems or older stellar populations. Astronomers also analyze the spectrum of the afterglow light. The spectral lines can reveal the chemical composition of the environment surrounding the burst, which is unique for GRBs. The presence of certain elements or the signature of high-energy processes can indicate that the source was indeed a gamma-ray burst rather than something else like a flare star or a solar outburst. Moreover, timing is crucial. Astronomers use a network of satellites and ground-based observatories to monitor the sky for potential GRBs. Once a gamma-ray burst is detected, rapid follow-up observations are made across multiple wavelengths to capture the afterglow while it is still bright. The promptness of these observations can help distinguish GRBs from other transient events because the afterglow of GRBs fades significantly faster than many other types of astronomical explosions. In the case of GRBs, astronomers also look for the presence of high-energy photons in the behavior of the afterglow over time, which can show signs of interaction with the surrounding medium. This interaction can lead to specific signatures in the light curve and spectrum that are not present in other types of transients. Finally, the classification of events is aided by extensive databases and ongoing research that compiles properties of in recent years, advancements in technology have significantly enhanced our understanding of gamma-ray bursts (GRBs), which are among the most powerful explosions in the universe. One of the key developments has been the improvement in satellite-based observatories equipped with highly sensitive detectors. Instruments like NASA's Fermi Gamma-ray Space Telescope have revolutionized our ability to detect and analyze these bursts in real time. Fermi's Large Area Telescope can capture gamma rays from various sources, allowing scientists to study the afterglow of GRBs and their associated phenomena in a way that was not possible before. Additionally, advancements in ground-based telescopes, such as the Very Large Array VLA, and the upcoming Square Kilometer Array SKA, have enhanced our capacity to observe the radio waves emitted by GRBs after the initial explosion. These observations are crucial for understanding the environment around the burst and can help determine the distance and energy output of the event. The integration of multi-wavelength observations, where data from gamma ray, X-ray, optical, and radio telescopes are combined, has provided a more comprehensive picture of these cosmic events, allowing scientists to better understand their origins and mechanisms. Another significant technological leap has been in the realm of data analysis. Modern machine learning algorithms and artificial intelligence are now being used to sift through vast amounts of observational data, identifying patterns and correlating events that human researchers might miss. 
This computational power enables astronomers to respond more rapidly to GRB alerts, facilitating immediate follow-up observations across different wavelengths, which is vital for piecing together the complete story of a burst. Furthermore, improvements in the design of detectors have led to increased sensitivity and resolution, allowing researchers to observe fainter bursts than those at greater distances, thus expanding our knowledge of the frequency and characteristics of GRBs throughout the universe's history. The development of space-based observatories like the James Webb Space Telescope will also contribute to this field by providing unprecedented infrared observations that can reveal the early universe's conditions and potentially identify the progenitors of GRBs. In addition to observational advancements, theoretical modeling has also progressed significantly. Computational simulations have become more sophisticated, enabling scientists to create detailed models of how GRBs are formed, including the processes involved in the collapse of massive stars or the merger of neutron stars. These models can now incorporate complex physics, such as magnetic fields and relativistic jets, providing deeper insights into the nature of these extreme explosions. Overall, the combination of enhanced observational capabilities, advanced data analysis techniques, and improved gamma-ray bursts (GRBs) are among the most energetic events in the universe, releasing immense amounts of energy in a very short time, and they serve as a unique window into fundamental physics. When these bursts occur, they emit intense gamma rays that can be detected across vast distances, giving astronomers important clues about the processes happening in extreme environments, such as the collapse of massive stars or the merging of neutron stars. By studying the light curves and spectra of GRBs, scientists can gather information about the conditions in which these events occur, which in turn sheds light on the nature of gravity and the effects of relativity. For instance, the immense energy released during a GRB can be described by Einstein's theory of relativity, particularly in how it relates to the speed of light and the behavior of objects in extreme gravitational fields. When a massive star collapses into a black hole, it creates a situation where gravity is so strong that it warps space and time. Observing how the gamma rays propagate through the universe allows researchers to test predictions of relativity, such as the invariance of the speed of light in a vacuum. When GRBs are detected from different distances, scientists can analyze their light to see if any deviations from this constancy occur, which could hint at new physics beyond our current understanding. Furthermore, the afterglow of a gamma ray burst, which can last for days or weeks, provides additional data about the surrounding environment and the expansion of the universe. The way this afterglow interacts with the interstellar medium can help scientists measure the expansion rate of the universe and refine their models of cosmic inflation and dark energy. These observations are crucial for testing theories of gravity, especially in how they apply to cosmic scales. In addition, GRBs can be used to study potential variations in fundamental constants over time and space. By examining the gamma rays emitted during these bursts, researchers can look for variations in the fine structure constant or the gravitational constant, which are fundamental to our understanding of physics. If these constants prove to be variable, it could lead to a significant shift in our comprehension of the laws governing the universe. Moreover, the extreme conditions surrounding GRBs also provide a natural laboratory for testing theories of quantum gravity. The merging of neutron stars, which can create GRBs, involves matter under incredible densities where quantum effects become significant. This allows scientists to explore how gravity behaves at quantum scales and to investigate the potential unification of gravity with other fundamental forces. As research, Gamma ray bursts, or GRBs, are among the most powerful explosions in the universe, releasing enormous amounts of energy in a very short time. If a GRB were to occur close to Earth, particularly directed at our planet, the potential risks could be significant. The primary concern is the intense radiation emitted during a GRB, which could strip away the planet's ozone layer. The ozone layer plays a crucial role in protecting life on Earth from harmful ultraviolet, UV, radiation from the sun. A reduction in the ozone layer could lead to increased UV exposure, resulting in higher rates of skin cancer, cataracts, and other health issues for living organisms. To assess the risks associated with a gamma-ray burst, scientists examine various factors. First, 
they studied the distance of potential GRBs. Most GRBs occur far from Earth, typically millions to billions of light years away. The intensity of the gamma rays diminishes with distance, meaning that even a powerful burst would have less impact if it were far away. Researchers also consider the orientation of the burst. GRBs are often highly focused jets of radiation, so if one occurs but is not directed toward Earth, the risk is considerably lower. Furthermore, astronomers utilize existing data from GRBs observed in the universe to create models that predict their potential effects. This includes analyzing the energy output and duration of known GRBs, which can help estimate how a similar event directed at Earth might affect our atmosphere. Some studies suggest that if a GRB were to occur within a few thousand light years from Earth and be aimed directly at us, it could cause severe and immediate harm, but the likelihood of such an event happening is considered low. Scientists also investigate historical evidence, looking for signs of past GRBs that may have impacted Earth indirectly. Some researchers propose that a nearby gamma ray burst could have contributed to mass extinction events in the geological past by altering the environment. By understanding these past occurrences, scientists can better gauge the potential risks of future GRBs. In recent years, advances in technology and observational techniques have improved our ability to monitor the universe for potential GRBs. Space telescopes equipped with gamma-ray detectors can help spot these explosive events as they happen. Continuous monitoring allows scientists to gather data that enhance our understanding of GRBs and refine their risk assessments. While the potential risks associated with gamma-ray bursts are real and warrant attention, the vast distances of space and the rarity of such events mean that for now, they remain more of a gamma-ray bursts, GRBs, are among the most energetic events in the universe, and their study has significantly advanced our knowledge of the early cosmos. These bursts are brief but incredibly intense flashes of gamma rays, and they are believed to occur when massive stars collapse into black holes or when neutron stars collide. The light from these events can travel billions of light years to reach us, allowing scientists to observe them as they were in the distant past. This means that by studying GRBs, we can gain insights into the conditions and processes that were prevalent in the early universe. When we detect a gamma ray burst, we are often looking back in time to an era when the universe was still young, typically just a few billion years old. This is crucial because it helps us understand the formation of the first stars and galaxies. The energy released during a GRB can outshine entire galaxies for a short period, providing a unique opportunity to study the surrounding environment and how it interacts with the burst's light. By analyzing the afterglow of these bursts, scientists can learn about the composition of the universe at that time, including the presence of elements like hydrogen, helium, and heavier metals formed in the hearts of stars. Moreover, GRBs can be used as cosmic beacons. Their brightness allows astronomers to probe the intergalactic medium, the matter that fills the space between galaxies. The light from a GRB passes through this medium, and by studying how it is affected, researchers can gather information about how the universe evolved, particularly during the time known as the cosmic dawn, when the first stars began to shine and ionize the surrounding hydrogen gas. This process is key to understanding the transition from the dark ages of the universe to the era of ionization, a pivotal moment in cosmic history. Additionally, GRBs help scientists refine their models of star formation and the factors that lead to the creation of black holes. The frequency and distribution of these bursts give clues about the rate of star formation in the early universe, as more massive stars are thought to be responsible for a higher incidence of GRBs. By correlating the data from these gamma-ray bursts with observations of distant galaxies, astronomers can piece together a clearer picture of how galaxies formed and evolved over time. The study of GRBs is also intertwined with our understanding of the expansion of the universe. As they occur at varying distances, analyzing their redshifts, how much their light has been shifted towards the red end of the spectrum. Gamma-ray bursts GRBs are among the most energetic events in the universe, and scientists have developed several theoretical models to explain their mechanisms. One prominent model suggests that GRBs are caused by the collapse of massive stars into black holes, a process known as gravitational collapse. During this event, the core of the star collapses while the outer layers are expelled in a supernova explosion. 
This creates jets of high-energy particles that travel at nearly the speed of light. When these jets are directed towards Earth, they produce the intense gamma-ray emissions characteristic of GRBs. Another model focuses on the merger of compact objects, such as two neutron stars or a neutron star and a black hole. When these dense objects collide, they release a tremendous amount of energy, resulting in a gamma-ray burst. The collision creates a disk of hot gas that can also emit powerful jets, leading to the observed gamma-ray emissions. This scenario is particularly interesting because it can also produce gravitational waves, which have been detected in conjunction with some GRB events, providing further evidence for this model. Some researchers have proposed a different explanation that involves magnetars, which are highly magnetized neutron stars. It is theorized that a magnetar can undergo a sudden magnetic field rearrangement that releases a burst of energy in the form of gamma rays. This model emphasizes the role of magnetic fields in producing these explosive events and presents an alternative to the gravitational collapse or merger scenarios. Additionally, there are models that explore the possibility of GRBs being related to the formation of exotic objects, like quark stars. Quark stars are theorized to be made up of quark matter, and their formation could lead to unique events that produce gamma-ray bursts. Though this idea is still speculative, it highlights the variety of potential mechanisms that could explain these powerful bursts. The energy output of GRBs is immense, often exceeding that of entire galaxies in just a few seconds. This has led to further investigation into how these events can influence their surroundings. For instance, the shock waves generated by a GRB can trigger star formation in nearby gas clouds, creating new stars from the remnants of the energy released. This interplay between destruction and creation in the cosmos showcases the complex relationship between these bursts and the evolution of galaxies. As scientists continue to study gamma-ray bursts, they refine these models and gather more observational data, leading to a deeper understanding of the extreme processes that govern the universe. The ongoing research into GRBs not only sheds light on these enigmatic, Gamma-ray bursts GRBs, are among the most powerful explosions in the universe, emitting bursts of gamma radiation that can last from milliseconds to several minutes. These events have fascinated scientists since their discovery in the late 1960s, primarily because they challenge our existing theories in astrophysics in several ways. One of the most significant challenges posed by GRBs is their immense energy output. The energy released during a typical gamma-ray burst can exceed that of a supernova, and this raises questions about the mechanisms that can produce such intense radiation. Traditional models of stellar evolution and supernova explosions struggle to account for the energy levels observed in GRBs, leading researchers to explore alternative scenarios, such as the merger of neutron stars or the collapse of massive stars into black holes. Another intriguing aspect of GRBs is their mysterious origins. For many years, scientists have tried to classify GRBs into two distinct categories, long-duration bursts, which are believed to originate from the collapse of massive stars, and short-duration bursts, thought to be caused by the merging of compact objects like neutron stars. However, recent observations have revealed that the lines between these categories are not as clear-cut as once thought. The discovery of GRBs with properties that do not fit neatly into existing classifications suggests that our understanding of these phenomena is incomplete, prompting researchers to rethink the underlying processes that drive them. Moreover, the afterglow of gamma-ray bursts, which can be observed across various wavelengths, presents another layer of complexity. Afterglows can last for days to weeks and provide vital clues about the environment surrounding the burst, including the density and composition of the interstellar medium. While this data has helped refine models of GRBs, it also raises questions about how these explosions interact with their surroundings and what implications this has for our understanding of cosmic evolution. The immense distances involved in observing GRBs also complicate the picture. Because these bursts occur billions of light years away, their light has traveled through the expanding universe, leading to redshift phenomena that can skew our interpretations of their properties. This redshift can affect how we perceive the energy output and the duration of the bursts, challenging our assumptions about the scale and frequency of such events in the universe. As we gather more observational data, especially with advanced telescopes and detectors, the need to revise our theoretical frameworks becomes increasingly apparent. 
Furthermore, the detection of GRBs in different cosmic environments raises questions about the conditions necessary for their formation. For instance, some GRBs have been observed in Gamma ray bursts, GRBs, are among the most powerful and energetic explosions in the universe, and several notable occurrences have provided valuable insights into their nature and the cosmos. One of the most famous GRBs is GRB 980425, which was observed in 1998. This burst was unusual because it was relatively nearby, at a distance of about 38 million light years, and was linked to a supernova, SN 1998BW. The connection between GRBs and supernovae led scientists to explore the idea that some GRBs may be the result of massive stars collapsing under their own gravity, creating black holes and releasing immense energy in the form of gamma rays. Another significant event was GRB 030329, which occurred in 2003. This burst was also associated with a supernova, providing further evidence of the link between these two phenomena. Observations of GRB 030329 allowed astronomers to study the afterglow, which is the light emitted after the initial explosion, across multiple wavelengths, including X-rays, optical, and radio. This multi-wavelength approach revealed information about the environment surrounding the burst and helped refine our understanding of the mechanisms behind GRBs. In 2010, GRB 100814A was observed, and it turned out to be one of the longest GRBs recorded, lasting over 40 minutes. Such long-duration bursts are thought to be associated with the collapse of massive stars and give scientists clues about the processes that occur in the final moments of a star's life. The afterglow of GRB 100814A was studied extensively, revealing details about the distance to the burst, which was approximately 4.5 billion light-years away. This highlighted the fact that GRBs can be detected across vast distances, making them valuable tools for studying the early universe. A particularly intriguing GRB is GRB 170817A, which was detected in 2017. This event is notable because it was linked to the merger of two neutron stars, which provided the first observational evidence of such a merger. This GRB was detected just seconds after the merger event was observed in gravitational waves, marking a significant milestone in the field of astrophysics. The combination of gravitational wave and electromagnetic observations allowed scientists to study the origins of heavy elements like gold and platinum, which are produced during such cosmic collisions. This event has opened new avenues for understanding the universe, merging different fields of astronomy, and demonstrating the power of collaborative observations. Gamma ray bursts (GRBs) are among the most energetic events in the universe, releasing vast amounts of energy in a brief period, often outshining entire galaxies for a short time. These bursts occur when massive stars collapse into black holes or when neutron stars collide, resulting in powerful jets of gamma radiation. Now, how do these incredible explosions influence the production of cosmic rays? Cosmic rays, which are high-energy particles primarily composed of protons and atomic nuclei, are generated in various astrophysical processes. While supernovae and other high-energy events contribute to cosmic ray production, gamma-ray bursts play a unique role due to their immense energy output. When a gamma ray burst occurs, it produces a shockwave that travels through space, interacting with surrounding gas and magnetic fields. This shockwave can accelerate particles to extremely high energies, potentially turning them into cosmic rays. The environment around a gamma ray burst is also rich in dense material, which can facilitate interactions that lead to the production of secondary particles. As these particles are accelerated, they can reach energies well above those typically seen in cosmic rays produced by other sources. In fact, some studies suggest that the energy of cosmic rays produced in the vicinity of a GRB can exceed that of cosmic rays created by supernova remnants or other astrophysical sources. Moreover, the high-energy photons emitted during a gamma-ray burst can interact with matter and radiation fields, leading to further particle production through processes such as pair production, where photons convert into particle-antiparticle pairs, and photoproduction, where high-energy photons collide with protons to create pines and other particles. The resulting pines can decay into neutrinos and gamma rays, contributing to the overall cosmic ray population. 
This means that gamma ray bursts not only accelerate particles but also initiate a cascade of interactions that enrich the cosmic ray spectrum. As these cosmic rays propagate through space, they can influence other regions of the universe, contributing to the ionization of interstellar gas and potentially affecting star formation processes. The vast distances involved mean that the impact of a single gamma ray burst can be felt over cosmic scales, adding complexity to the interplay between high-energy astrophysical events and the evolution of the universe. Additionally, the study of cosmic rays from gamma ray bursts can provide valuable insights into the conditions of the early universe, as many bursts are believed to occur in distant galaxies, allowing astronomers to glean information about the environments in which they take place. This connection between gamma ray bursts and cosmic ray production opens. Gamma ray bursts GRBs, are among the most energetic events in the universe, releasing vast amounts of energy in the form of gamma rays, which are high-energy electromagnetic radiation. When a GRB occurs, it can have profound effects on surrounding environments, especially if it happens relatively close to Earth or to other planets, including exoplanets. The intense radiation produced by a GRB can lead to significant consequences for planetary atmospheres. One of the most immediate effects of a gamma ray burst on a planetary atmosphere is the potential for atmospheric ionization. The gamma rays can interact with atoms and molecules in the atmosphere, knocking electrons loose and creating ions. This process can disrupt the chemical balance of the atmosphere, possibly leading to the breakdown of important molecules, such as ozone. Ozone is crucial for shielding a planet's surface from harmful ultraviolet radiation, so its depletion can expose the surface to increased levels of UV radiation, which can be detrimental to any life forms that might exist there. Furthermore, the energy from a GRB can trigger a cascade of secondary effects. For instance, when gamma rays hit a planet's atmosphere, they can generate high-energy particles that further interact with the atmosphere and create showers of secondary radiation. This can lead to increased radiation levels at the surface, which could be harmful to living organisms, potentially sterilizing the environment if the burst is intense enough. In addition to direct radiation effects, there can be chemical reactions triggered by the burst's energy. For example, the formation of nitrogen oxides due to ionization processes can affect climate and weather patterns, potentially making the atmosphere less hospitable. The changes in atmospheric chemistry could have long-term implications for any potential biospheres, impacting everything from the greenhouse effect to the availability of essential elements and compounds for life. The effects of GRBs are not limited to just the atmosphere, they can also influence the planet's surface and geology. If a GRB occurs in a nearby region, it could lead to heating of the atmosphere, which might cause changes in weather systems and climate. This could result in extreme weather events, such as increased storms or changes in wind patterns, which can further disrupt ecosystems. Exoplanets, which are planets outside our solar system, are also at risk from gamma ray bursts, particularly those that are located in regions of space where GRBs are more common. The likelihood of a GRB impacting an exoplanet depends on its distance from the burst and the orientation of the burst's jet. For example, Gamma ray bursts GRBs, are among the most energetic events in the universe, and they play a surprising role in shaping the cosmic web and the large-scale structure of the universe. These bursts, which can release as much energy in a few seconds as the sun will emit over its entire lifetime, are linked to the death of massive stars or the merger of neutron stars. When these dramatic events occur, they emit intense beams of gamma rays that can be detected across vast distances. The energy released during these explosions can have significant implications for the surrounding environment, influencing the formation and evolution of galaxies. As gamma ray bursts occur in the early stages of galaxy formation, they can trigger shock waves that compress nearby gas, leading to the formation of new stars. This process can help to enrich the intergalactic medium with heavy elements produced in the supernova explosions that often accompany GRBs. The heavy elements, such as carbon, oxygen, and iron, are essential for the formation of planets and life as we know it. By enriching the gas in their vicinity, gamma ray bursts contribute to the overall metallicity of galaxies, which affects their evolution and structure. Furthermore, the energy from GRBs can influence the distribution of matter on a larger scale. 
The intense radiation can ionize the surrounding gas, creating bubbles of hot plasma in the intergalactic medium. These bubbles can expand and interact with the surrounding material, affecting the density of gas and dark matter in the cosmic web. The cosmic web is the large-scale structure of the universe, consisting of vast filaments of galaxies and dark matter, with voids in between. The interaction of gamma-ray bursts with the intergalactic medium can help to shape the distribution of galaxies within this web, influencing how they cluster and evolve over time. In addition to their role in star formation and chemical enrichment, the high-energy photons from gamma-ray bursts can also affect cosmic rays. These bursts can accelerate particles to extremely high energies, contributing to the population of cosmic rays that permeate the universe. Cosmic rays are high-energy particles that travel through space and can collide with interstellar matter, producing secondary particles in radiation. The interplay between gamma-ray bursts and cosmic rays can further influence the dynamics of the intergalactic medium and the large-scale structure of the universe. Interestingly, the study of gamma-ray bursts also provides valuable insights into the early universe. By observing distant GRBs, astronomers can gather information about the conditions in the universe when it was much younger. These observations. Researchers have found that gamma-ray bursts, GRBs, which are incredibly powerful explosions in distant galaxies, can serve as important cosmic distance indicators. These bursts are among the most energetic events in the universe, releasing enormous amounts of energy in the form of gamma rays. When a GRB occurs, it can outshine entire galaxies for a brief period, making it detectable across vast distances. The key to using GRBs as distance markers lies in their intrinsic properties and the relationship between their brightness and distance. Astronomers utilize a concept known as the inverse square law, which states that the brightness of an object decreases with the square of the distance from the observer. This means that if researchers can determine how bright a GRB truly is, they can compare that with how bright it appears from Earth. By measuring this difference, they can calculate how far away the burst is. One of the significant advantages of GRBs is that they are extremely luminous, often shining brightly even from billions of light years away, which allows astronomers to detect them even in the far reaches of the universe. To accurately assess the distance, scientists analyze the spectrum of the light emitted during the burst. The spectrum provides clues about the composition and movement of the material ejected during the explosion. By studying specific lines in the spectrum, researchers can identify the redshift of the burst, which indicates how much the universe has expanded since the light was emitted. This redshift is crucial for understanding both the distance to the GRB and the rate of expansion of the universe. In addition, researchers have discovered that GRBs can exhibit a range of properties, such as their duration and energy output, which can be correlated with their distance. This correlation allows for a more refined distance measurement, giving scientists a powerful tool for exploring the cosmos. Some GRBs are classified as long-duration bursts, typically associated with the collapse of massive stars, while others are short-duration bursts, which are thought to arise from the merger of compact objects like neutron stars. Each type has different characteristics that can provide insights into cosmic distances. Moreover, because GRBs can occur at various stages of cosmic history, they become valuable for understanding the distribution of matter in the universe and the formation of galaxies over time. By studying distant GRBs, astronomers can trace the evolution of the universe and the role of these explosive events in shaping the cosmic landscape. The information gleaned from these bursts not only helps in measuring distances but also enhances our understanding of the fundamental processes that govern the Gamma-ray bursts GRBs, are among the most energetic and explosive events in the universe, releasing vast amounts of energy in a very short time. They are thought to occur when massive stars collapse into black holes or when neutron stars collide. While these events are fascinating in their own right, they also play an intriguing role in the discussion surrounding dark matter and dark energy, two of the most perplexing components of our universe. Dark matter, which makes up about 27% of the universe, is invisible and does not emit light or energy, making it challenging to detect directly. Its presence is inferred through gravitational effects on visible matter, such as galaxies and galaxy clusters. Gamma-ray bursts, 
being extreme cosmic phenomena can help astrophysicists study the distribution of dark matter, for instance, by observing the afterglows of GRBs in their surrounding environments, scientists can gather data on the gravitational lensing effect, where the light from a GRB is bent by the gravitational field of dark matter. This lensing effect allows researchers to map the distribution of dark matter around these events, providing insights into how it affects the structure of galaxies and clusters. On the other hand, dark energy, which constitutes around 68% of the universe, is thought to be responsible for the accelerated expansion of the universe. The role of gamma ray bursts in the context of dark energy is more indirect but equally fascinating. Because GRBs are incredibly luminous and can be seen from great distances, they serve as valuable markers for understanding cosmic distances in the expansion of the universe. By studying the light curves and spectra of GRBs, astronomers can determine their distances and how they relate to the expansion rate of the universe. This information can help refine models of dark energy, as understanding how the universe expands over time is crucial for unraveling the mysteries of this elusive force. Moreover, the occurrence of GRBs across different epochs of the universe provides a timeline that can be used to test theories about cosmic evolution and the influence of dark energy. If GRBs are found to be distributed in a way that correlates with changes in the rate of expansion, this could offer new insights into the nature of dark energy itself. The relationship between GRBs and the large-scale structure of the universe also allows researchers to explore how dark matter and dark energy interact, further enriching our understanding of their roles in the cosmos. In summary, gamma ray bursts are not just spectacular astronomical events, they are key players in the quest to understand the fundamental components. Gamma ray bursts GRBs, are among the most energetic events in the universe, releasing vast amounts of energy in a very short time. When these bursts occur, they send out a flood of gamma rays, which are a type of high-energy radiation. As these gamma rays travel through space, they interact with the magnetic fields present in various regions of the universe. The interaction between gamma rays and magnetic fields can lead to several interesting phenomena that are important for understanding the nature of GRBs and their surrounding environments. One of the ways gamma rays interact with magnetic fields is through a process called pair production. This occurs when a gamma ray with enough energy passes near a magnetic field and produces an electron-positron pair. These particles can then move through the magnetic field, spiraling around the field lines. This spiraling motion can cause the particles to emit synchrotron radiation, which is a type of electromagnetic radiation produced when charged particles are accelerated in a magnetic field. The resulting synchrotron radiation can contribute to the overall spectrum of light emitted by the gamma ray burst, allowing astronomers to gather more information about these intense events. Additionally, magnetic fields can also influence the propagation of the gamma rays themselves. As gamma rays travel through space, they can be affected by the magnetic fields of nearby stars, galaxies, or intergalactic space. This interaction can cause the gamma rays to scatter or change direction, which may give rise to observable effects in the light we receive from these bursts. The presence of strong magnetic fields can also lead to phenomena like magnetic reconnection, where lines of magnetic force break and reconnect, releasing energy and potentially creating additional high-energy particles. Research into the interaction between GRBs and magnetic fields is still ongoing, with scientists using advanced simulations and observations to better understand these complex dynamics. Understanding how gamma ray bursts interact with magnetic fields can reveal insights into the environments where these bursts happen, like the regions around collapsing stars or merging neutron stars. These insights can help scientists piece together the life cycle of stars and the processes that lead to such extreme cosmic events. The study of these interactions not only enhances our understanding of gamma ray bursts themselves but also broadens our knowledge of astrophysical processes in the universe at large, shedding light on the behavior of matter and energy in extreme conditions. Gamma ray bursts GRBs, are among the most powerful explosions in the universe, and they emit light across a wide range of wavelengths, from gamma rays to optical and even radio waves. The different wavelengths of light emitted during these bursts provide astronomers with vital clues about their properties and the processes behind them. 
When a gamma ray burst occurs, it releases an incredible amount of energy in the form of gamma rays, which are the highest energy form of light. This initial emission can be detected by space-based observatories equipped to observe gamma rays, such as the Fermi Gamma Ray Space Telescope. The gamma rays indicate the most energetic processes happening in the burst, often related to the collapse of massive stars or the merger of neutron stars. As the burst evolves, it can produce a spectrum of light that transitions from gamma rays to X-rays, then to ultraviolet, visible light, and finally to infrared and radio waves. Each wavelength tells a different part of the story. For instance, the X-ray emissions can reveal information about the density and temperature of the material surrounding the burst. When the gamma rays interact with surrounding matter, they can produce afterglow emissions in X-rays and optical wavelengths. This afterglow can last for days, weeks, or even longer, providing critical data about the environment in which the GRB occurred. The optical light emitted after the initial gamma ray explosion can be analyzed to determine the distance to the burst and the rate at which it is expanding, which helps in understanding the energy release and the physics of the explosion. Moreover, the study of radio waves emitted after a gamma ray burst can help identify the type of environment the burst occurred in. For example, if the radio waves are stronger, it often indicates that the GRB has collided with dense material, such as the wind from a massive star. The interaction of the burst with its surrounding medium can create shock waves that emit radio waves, revealing details about the burst's location and the density of the surrounding space. By analyzing the light emitted across these various wavelengths, scientists can piece together a more comprehensive picture of the GRB's properties, such as its brightness, energy output, and the physical processes at play during the explosion. Each wavelength essentially acts like a different tool in an astronomer's toolkit, allowing them to investigate various aspects of these cosmic events. The combined observations from different wavelengths can lead to breakthroughs in our understanding of the universe, including insights into the formation of black holes, the behavior of matter under extreme conditions. Gamma ray bursts GRBs, are among the most powerful explosions in the universe, releasing enormous amounts of energy in a fraction of a second. However, predicting when and where these cosmic events will occur poses significant challenges for astronomers. One primary difficulty is the sheer unpredictability of GRBs. They can happen at any time and in any part of the sky, often without any warning, making it hard to prepare for observation. Unlike supernovae, which have more predictable life cycles leading to their explosions, the origins of GRBs can vary. Some are related to the collapse of massive stars, while others are thought to result from the merger of neutron stars, a process that we do not fully understand yet. Another challenge is the vast distances involved. GRBs are typically located billions of light years away, meaning that the light we see from them today was emitted long ago. This immense distance not only makes the bursts faint by the time they reach us but also complicates our ability to gather data about their precursors. Astronomers often rely on models of stellar evolution to predict GRB occurrences, but these models are still being refined, and new discoveries frequently challenge existing theories. Additionally, the burst's afterglow, which can last from days to weeks, provides critical information about the event, but capturing this data requires rapid response and well-timed observations, further complicating the prediction efforts. Technological limitations also play a role in the challenges of predicting GRBs. While telescopes have become increasingly sensitive, there are still limitations to the speed at which we can detect and analyze gamma ray emissions. Current monitoring systems can alert astronomers to a GRB soon after its occurrence, yet it's often too late for ground-based telescopes to observe the beginning of the event. The field is continuously evolving, with new satellite missions and ground-based observatories being developed to improve detection capabilities, but the unpredictability of GRBs continues to outpace our efforts to predict them accurately. Furthermore, the statistical nature of GRB occurrences adds another layer of complexity. While we can identify patterns based on previous observations, the relatively small number of detected GRBs makes it difficult to draw conclusive predictions. Each new discovery can shift our understanding of the conditions that lead to these bursts, adding to the uncertainty.
As researchers study the remnants of past GRBs and the environments in which they occur, they hope to piece together more clues, but the rapid and violent nature of these explosions makes it a challenging puzzle. Gamma ray bursts GRBs, are among the most powerful explosions in the universe, releasing an enormous amount of energy in a very short time, often outshining entire galaxies. These bursts typically occur when massive stars undergo supernova explosions or when neutron stars collide. As they release intense gamma radiation, they can have significant effects on their surroundings, particularly the intergalactic medium IGM, which is the matter that exists in the space between galaxies. When a gamma ray burst occurs, it produces a jet of particles moving at nearly the speed of light. This jet can interact with the surrounding gas and dust, creating shock waves that propagate outward. These shock waves can compress the intergalactic medium, heating it up and causing it to undergo various chemical reactions. The intense energy from the GRB can ionize the surrounding gas, stripping electrons from atoms and creating a plasma state. This ionization can lead to the formation of new elements and compounds, as the high temperatures and pressures facilitate nuclear reactions. Moreover, gamma ray bursts can enrich the intergalactic medium with heavy elements. During a supernova, for example, the core of a massive star collapses and undergoes nuclear fusion, producing elements like carbon, oxygen, and iron. When the star explodes, these elements are expelled into space, contributing to the chemical makeup of the IGM. If a GRB occurs in a region rich in gas and dust, it can trigger further star formation as the shock waves compress the material, leading to a cycle where new stars are born from the enriched gas. The influence of gamma ray bursts on the IGM is not just limited to the immediate vicinity. Because GRBs can occur in distant galaxies, their effects can be seen over vast cosmic distances. The radiation from these bursts can ionize hydrogen atoms in the IGM, affecting the overall ionization state of the universe. This process plays a role in the ionization of the universe, which is thought to have occurred billions of years ago when the universe transitioned from being opaque to transparent to ultraviolet light. In addition, the energy released by a GRB can create areas of high energy density in the IGM, which may contribute to the heating of the intergalactic gas. This heating can affect the dynamics of galaxy formation and evolution, influencing how galaxies acquire gas and how they interact with their environment. The chemical composition of the IGM is crucial for understanding the formation of stars and galaxies, as it determines the availability of raw materials. Gamma Ray Bursts GRBs are among the most powerful explosions in the universe, often associated with the collapse of massive stars or the merger of neutron stars. When scientists observe these bursts, they are not only witnessing a spectacular cosmic event but also gathering crucial information about the environments surrounding supernova remnants. Supernova remnants are the remnants left behind after a star explodes, and they play a vital role in the recycling of materials in the universe. The implications of gamma ray bursts for studying these remnants are significant. For one, GRBs can provide insight into the conditions and processes that lead to supernova explosions. By analyzing the gamma rays emitted during a burst, researchers can infer the composition and energy levels of the material ejected during the supernova event. This helps scientists understand the fundamental physics of how stars evolve and die. Moreover, gamma ray bursts can influence the surrounding interstellar medium in ways that enhance our understanding of supernova remnants. The intense radiation and particles released during a GRB can interact with the gas and dust in the vicinity, potentially energizing it and leading to the formation of new structures. This interaction can create shock waves that compress and heat the surrounding material, allowing for a more detailed study of the remnants as they evolve over time. Additionally, these interactions can produce observable phenomena such as X-ray and radio emissions, which can be studied to reveal the properties of the supernova remnant in a way that might not be possible without the presence of a GRB. Furthermore, the connection between gamma ray bursts and supernova remnants raises intriguing questions about the life cycles of stars. When a GRB occurs, it often indicates that a massive star has reached the end of its life in a dramatic fashion. By studying the remnants of such stars, researchers can piece together the timeline of stellar evolution, gaining insights into how different types of stars transition from being luminous giants to their explosive deaths. 
This knowledge helps us understand the distribution of elements in the universe, as supernovae are responsible for creating and dispersing many of the heavy elements that make up the matter we see today. The study of supernova remnants in relation to gamma ray bursts also has implications for understanding cosmic distances in the expansion of the universe. Observations of GRBs have allowed scientists to measure distances to far-off galaxies, which can provide critical information about the rate of expansion in the universe. Since supernova remnants can serve as markers for the remnants of these explosions, their relationship with GRBs can help refine our cosmic distance. Gamma ray bursts GRBs, among the most powerful explosions in the universe, have captured the imagination of scientists and the general public alike. In popular culture, these cosmic phenomena are often depicted with a dramatic flair that emphasizes their immense energy and potential for destruction. Films and television shows frequently use gamma ray bursts as plot devices, showcasing them as catastrophic events that could threaten life on Earth. For example, in the movie Gravity, a space disaster is triggered by the aftermath of a gamma ray burst, illustrating how these bursts can disrupt space missions and create chaos in the cosmos. In literature, authors have explored the concept of gamma ray bursts as harbingers of doom, often detailing how a burst could lead to mass extinction or severe environmental changes on Earth. Science fiction works may present humanity's struggle against the aftermath of such cosmic events, blending scientific concepts with imaginative storytelling. This portrayal can stir fascination but also evoke fear about the fragility of human existence in the face of such vast cosmic forces. Moreover, documentaries and educational programs have also contributed to public understanding of GRBs, presenting them as fascinating yet dangerous occurrences that occur in distant galaxies. These media often highlight the scientific efforts to study and understand gamma ray bursts, emphasizing the unknown nature of these events and the ongoing research in astrophysics. This can inspire a sense of awe and curiosity about the universe and the forces that govern it. The impact of these portrayals can shape public perception significantly. While they can raise awareness about the existence and significance of gamma ray bursts, they can also lead to misconceptions. Some people may come away with exaggerated fears about the threat of GRBs to Earth, thinking of them solely as destructive events rather than as part of the natural processes of the universe. Conversely, the excitement generated by these portrayals can foster interest in space science and encourage young people to pursue careers in astrophysics, astronomy, and related fields. In educational settings, the dramatic elements of these cultural representations can serve as effective tools to engage students, sparking discussions about the science behind gamma ray bursts and their implications for our understanding of the universe. By capturing the public's imagination and presenting complex scientific ideas in relatable ways, popular culture plays a significant role in shaping how we think about and engage with cosmic phenomena, including gamma ray bursts. Gamma ray bursts GRBs, are among the most powerful explosions in the universe, and their study has become a global effort involving numerous scientists and institutions. These bursts release immense amounts of energy, briefly outshining entire galaxies, and understanding them can provide insights into fundamental astrophysical processes. To tackle the complexities associated with GRBs, scientists around the world collaborate through various means, creating networks that enhance their research capabilities. One of the key collaborative efforts is the establishment of specialized observatories that are linked together to observe these fleeting events. For instance, the Gamma Ray Burst Coordinates Network GCN, plays a crucial role by allowing astronomers to share information about GRB discoveries in real time. When a GRB is detected, data is quickly disseminated to researchers worldwide, enabling them to mobilize their telescopes and instruments to capture follow-up observations across different wavelengths, from radio to gamma rays. International projects like the SWIFT satellite represent another significant collaborative effort. Launched in 2004, SWIFT is designed specifically to detect GRBs and immediately relay the burst's location to ground-based observatories and telescopes. This rapid response system allows many observatories, both space-based and Earth-based, to observe the afterglow of GRBs, leading to a better understanding of their properties and origins. The data collected from these observations is shared in a collaborative database, which is accessible to researchers globally. 
Moreover, large-scale collaborations like the European Space Agency's ESA, and NASA's efforts often involve multiple countries working together on missions that include GRB studies. Scientists from various institutions across the globe bring their expertise to the table, sharing resources, technology, and knowledge. These collaborations often extend to conferences and workshops, where researchers present their findings, discuss new theories, and plan future observational campaigns. In addition to observatories and satellites, theoretical studies also benefit from collaboration. Researchers in different countries often work together on simulations and models that help explain the mechanisms behind GRBs. By pulling their computational resources and expertise, they can create more accurate models of the physical conditions present during these cosmic events. This theoretical work is crucial, as it helps to interpret the observational data gathered from various telescopes and leads to new insights into the nature of gamma-ray bursts. Another interesting aspect of collaboration in the study of GRBs is the involvement of citizen scientists. Projects like the Las Cumbres Observatory LCO, allow amateur astronomers to contribute to the monitoring of GRBs by using remotely accessible telescopes. This public gamma ray bursts, or GRBs, are among the most energetic events in the universe, releasing vast amounts of energy in a very short time. When these bursts occur, they can outshine entire galaxies for a brief moment, making them not only fascinating to observe but also invaluable for studying extreme physics. The immense energy and high temperatures reached during a gamma-ray burst create conditions that are not replicable on Earth, allowing scientists to explore the fundamental laws of physics in ways that are impossible to achieve in terrestrial laboratories. For instance, the intense radiation emitted during a GRB can be used to study the behavior of matter under extreme conditions. When a star collapses into a black hole or a neutron star merges with another, the resulting explosion generates gamma rays that can be detected across vast distances. These bursts provide a unique opportunity to examine how matter behaves at incredibly high densities and temperatures, pushing the boundaries of our understanding of particle physics and the forces that govern the universe. Moreover, GRBs can serve as cosmic laboratories for testing theories of gravity, particularly general relativity. The way light and other radiation are affected by the intense gravitational fields surrounding black holes can reveal a great deal about the structure of space-time. By observing how the gamma rays from a burst are altered as they pass through the gravitational field, scientists can gather evidence that supports or challenges existing theories about gravity and its interaction with high-energy phenomena. Additionally, gamma-ray bursts are a critical tool for studying the formation of heavy elements in the universe. The extreme conditions during a burst can lead to the synthesis of elements heavier than iron through rapid neutron capture processes, known as our process nucleosynthesis. By analyzing the light curves and spectra of GRBs, astronomers can infer the types and amounts of these heavy elements produced during such explosive events, contributing to our understanding of cosmic chemical evolution. The afterglow of gamma-ray bursts also provides key insights into the environments in which these bursts occur. As a GRB fades, it emits light across various wavelengths, from radio to X-rays. Observing this afterglow allows scientists to study the surrounding medium, including the density and composition of the gas and dust that the burst interacts with. This information is crucial for understanding the conditions present in distant galaxies and how they evolve over time. In addition to these applications, GRBs are also useful for investigating the expansion of the universe. By measuring the distance to these bursts and their redshift, scientists can learn about the rate of expansion and the influence of The SWIFT satellite, launched in 2004, plays a crucial role in the observation of gamma-ray bursts GRBs, which are among the most powerful explosions in the universe. SWIFT's significance lies in its ability to rapidly detect and respond to these fleeting events, providing valuable data that enhances our understanding of their origins and characteristics. The satellite is equipped with three main instruments, the Burst Alert Telescope, the AT, which detects GRBs in real time, the X-ray Telescope, XRT, which follows up on the bursts to capture their X-ray emissions, and the Ultraviolet-slash-Optical Telescope, UVOT, which observes the afterglow in the ultraviolet and optical wavelengths.
This multi-wavelength approach allows scientists to gather a wealth of information about the bursts, from their initial gamma-ray emissions to their later stages, when they emit X-rays in visible light. The ability of SWIFT to quickly locate GRBs and provide precise coordinates means that ground-based telescopes can be directed to observe these events almost immediately. Because GRBs are typically very short-lived, often lasting from a few milliseconds to several minutes, this rapid response is vital. By capturing data across different wavelengths, researchers can piece together the nature of the progenitors of these bursts, which are believed to result from the collapse of massive stars into black holes or the merger of neutron stars. SWIFT has contributed to important discoveries, such as identifying the host galaxies of GRBs and understanding the environments in which they occur. Its observations have also led to the realization that GRBs can serve as markers for the formation of black holes in the evolution of the universe itself. Moreover, SWIFT has helped to confirm theories about the distance and age of these events, linking them to cosmic history. The satellite has observed GRBs at various redshifts, allowing scientists to study how these phenomena have changed over time and how they relate to the expansion of the universe. The data collected by SWIFT has also led to the development of new models for the mechanisms that produce these powerful bursts. In essence, the SWIFT satellite is not only a tool for observing gamma-ray bursts but also a key player in unraveling the mysteries of the cosmos. Its contributions have expanded our understanding of the universe's most energetic events, challenging existing theories and prompting new lines of inquiry into the fundamental processes that govern stellar evolution and the life cycle of galaxies. Gamma-ray bursts, GRBs, the most energetic explosions in the universe, have long fascinated astronomers and astrophysicists due to their intense release of energy, which can outshine entire galaxies for a brief moment. These cosmic events occur when massive stars collapse into black holes or when neutron stars collide, resulting in beams of gamma rays that are directed out into space. As scientists seek to understand the underlying mechanisms of GRBs, they also recognize the potential implications these phenomena hold for future astronomical technologies and missions. One of the most exciting aspects of GRBs is their ability to serve as cosmic beacons, illuminating the universe and helping researchers map out the distribution of matter across vast distances. Future telescopes are being designed with advanced sensitivity to detect the high-energy gamma rays emitted during these bursts. Instruments like the upcoming NASA mission, the Gamma Ray Observatory, are expected to provide valuable data on the frequency and locations of GRBs, thereby enhancing our understanding of the conditions that lead to these powerful explosions. Moreover, the study of GRBs can lead to the development of new technologies in data processing and analysis. With an enormous amount of data generated during these brief events, astronomers will need sophisticated software algorithms to filter through and interpret the information. This need for advanced processing techniques could spill over into other fields, driving innovations in artificial intelligence and machine learning, which can analyze complex datasets in real time. In addition to improving observational capabilities, understanding GRBs also has implications for deep space missions. As we prepare for long-duration missions to destinations like Mars or beyond, knowledge gained from studying GRBs can inform us about the radiation environment that astronauts might face. By understanding the potential dangers posed by gamma rays and developing shielding technologies, missions can be better equipped to protect human explorers from cosmic radiation. Furthermore, with the upcoming James Webb Space Telescope, JWST, and other next-generation observatories, astronomers will have the tools needed to observe GRBs in unprecedented detail. These observations can help us learn about the early universe and the formation of the first stars and galaxies, as some GRBs are believed to be connected to the death of massive stars in the early cosmos. The data collected can provide insights into the chemical evolution of the universe and inform our understanding of dark matter and dark energy, which are essential to the fabric of the cosmos. Additionally, international collaboration is becoming increasingly vital in the study of GRBs. Missions like the European Space Agency's ESA, planetary defense initiatives and partnerships with as scientists delve deeper into the mysteries of gamma-ray bursts, GRBs, which are the most powerful explosions observed in the universe, ethical considerations arise regarding their study and potential risks.
GRBs are incredibly energetic events caused by massive stars collapsing or merging neutron stars, releasing intense beams of gamma radiation that can outshine entire galaxies. While the likelihood of a GRB impacting Earth is extremely low, the implications of such an event raise important questions about how we approach research in this area. One pressing ethical consideration is the potential for misinformation or panic among the public. Given the dramatic nature of these explosions, speculation about their effects could lead to unnecessary fear, especially if GRBs were to be misrepresented in media or popular science narratives. Scientists have a responsibility to communicate their findings and theories clearly and accurately, ensuring that the public understands the actual risks involved. Additionally, there are concerns about funding and resource allocation in the study of GRBs. With limited scientific resources, some argue that focusing on high-risk astronomical phenomena could divert attention from more immediate issues like climate change or public health crises. This raises ethical questions about the priorities in scientific research and how we decide which areas deserve funding. Moreover, there are also considerations related to the potential for technological advancements that stem from studying GRBs, such as the development of new detection systems or safety measures. While these advancements can lead to greater understanding and preparedness, they also carry the risk of being misused or creating new forms of technological dependency. Scientists must navigate these dilemmas thoughtfully, ensuring that their work contributes positively to society. As we study these cosmic events, it is crucial to maintain a balance between curiosity-driven research and the broader ethical implications of our discoveries. The scientific community is tasked not only with uncovering the secrets of the universe but also with ensuring that their findings are applied responsibly and with foresight. The conversation around gamma-ray bursts is not just about understanding these phenomena, it is about considering their place within the larger tapestry of human knowledge and ethics as we venture further into the cosmos. Gamma-ray bursts (GRBs) are among the most powerful explosions in the universe, releasing immense amounts of energy in the form of gamma rays, which are the highest energy form of light. Understanding these bursts not only intrigues scientists but also provides crucial insights into the fate of the universe. When a massive star exhausts its nuclear fuel, it can collapse under its own gravity, leading to a supernova and potentially a gamma-ray burst. These bursts can outshine entire galaxies for a short period, and their detection gives astronomers a way to study the early universe, as many GRBs are located billions of light-years away. The energy released during these events is so significant that it can influence the surrounding environment, impacting star formation in nearby galaxies. By studying GRBs, scientists can gather information about the conditions of the early universe, including the distribution of matter and the formation of galaxies. The way these bursts interact with their surroundings also provides clues about the rate of star formation and the evolution of galaxies over time. This is important for understanding cosmic history and the potential future of the universe. One fascinating aspect of GRBs is their correlation with the death of massive stars. As researchers analyze different types of GRBs, they can learn more about the life cycle of stars and the role these events play in the recycling of materials in the cosmos. The elements forged in the explosive aftermath of a gamma-ray burst are scattered across space, contributing to the creation of new stars and planets. This cycle of birth and death in the universe is essential for understanding how galaxies evolve and how they might continue to change in the future. Moreover, studying the afterglow of gamma-ray bursts allows scientists to probe the expansion of the universe. By measuring the distance to these distant explosions, researchers can refine their understanding of cosmic acceleration, which is driven by dark energy. This has profound implications for the fate of the universe, as it might help determine whether the universe will continue to expand indefinitely, eventually leading to a big freeze, or if it could collapse back in on itself in a big crunch. Each GRB serves as a cosmic beacon, offering a snapshot of the universe at various stages of its evolution. Furthermore, the phenomenon of GRBs poses intriguing questions regarding the ultimate fate of matter in the universe. The intense energy from these bursts can create conditions where matter behaves differently than we observe in more typical environments. This challenges our understanding of physics and could lead to new theories about matter, energy, and the fundamental laws governing. 
as researchers continue to delve into the mysteries of gamma ray bursts (GRBs), several future directions are emerging that promise to deepen our understanding of these powerful cosmic events. One of the key areas of focus is the advancement of observational technology, which will allow scientists to detect and analyze GRBs with greater precision. New telescopes and satellites are being developed that can capture the light and other emissions from GRBs across various wavelengths, including X-rays and radio waves. This multi-wavelength approach will help researchers piece together the puzzle of what happens during these bursts, from the initial explosion to the afterglow that can last for days or even weeks. Another exciting avenue of research involves the connection between GRBs and the formation of black holes. Scientists are eager to explore how the collapse of massive stars leads to GRBs and how these events could contribute to the creation of black holes. By studying the environments in which GRBs occur, particularly in distant galaxies, researchers hope to uncover more about the life cycles of stars and the role of GRBs in the evolution of the universe. There is also a growing interest in the potential for GRBs to help us learn about the early universe. Because some GRBs are observed to occur billions of light years away, they serve as beacons that can illuminate the conditions and structures present in the universe shortly after the Big Bang. By analyzing the light from these distant bursts, astronomers can gather information about the formation of the first stars and galaxies, which is crucial for understanding cosmic history. Additionally, researchers are investigating the potential dangers posed by GRBs to life on Earth. While the likelihood of a GRB occurring close enough to affect our planet is low, the consequences of such an event could be significant. Future studies aim to assess the risks and develop models to predict the effects of nearby GRBs on Earth's atmosphere and biosphere, which could provide insights into the resilience of life in extreme conditions. Finally, the integration of artificial intelligence and machine learning into the study of GRBs is expected to revolutionize the field. By harnessing these technologies, researchers can analyze vast amounts of data more efficiently, identify patterns, and even predict when and where future GRBs might occur. This innovative approach could lead to groundbreaking discoveries and enhance our ability to react and respond to these magnificent cosmic phenomena. As scientists continue to push the boundaries of our knowledge, the future of gamma-ray burst research holds the promise of unlocking even more secrets of the universe, revealing the intricate processes that govern the life and gamma-ray bursts (GRBs) are among the most powerful and energetic events in the universe, showcasing the intricate relationships between different cosmic phenomena. These bursts are brief but incredibly intense flashes of gamma rays, which are the most energetic form of light. They can release more energy in a few seconds than the sun will emit over its entire lifetime. The origins of GRBs are primarily linked to the deaths of massive stars, specifically during supernova explosions, or the mergers of neutron stars. When these massive stars exhaust their nuclear fuel, they collapse under their own gravity, leading to the formation of black holes. This collapse triggers the release of jets of high-energy particles moving at nearly the speed of light. If these jets are pointed toward Earth, we witness a gamma-ray burst. The interconnectedness of cosmic phenomena is evident in how GRBs can influence their surroundings. For instance, the intense radiation from a nearby GRB can strip away the atmosphere of a planet or even trigger mass extinctions by affecting the biosphere. If such an event were to occur in our galaxy, the consequences could be significant, demonstrating the potential impact of cosmic events on Earth. Additionally, the study of GRBs helps astronomers understand the life cycles of stars, the formation of elements in the universe, and the dynamics of galaxies. These bursts serve as cosmic beacons, allowing scientists to probe the early universe and learn about the formation of galaxies and the conditions that led to the emergence of life as we know it. Furthermore, GRBs also reveal the interconnectedness of various astronomical phenomena. The same processes that lead to GRBs, such as stellar collapse and neutron star mergers, are responsible for producing heavy elements through nucleosynthesis. Elements like gold and platinum are formed during these cataclysmic events and are scattered throughout space, eventually becoming part of new stars, planets, and even life on Earth. This cosmic recycling illustrates how the universe is a web of interconnected events where the death of one star can lead to the creation of new celestial bodies and elements necessary for life. 
observatories around the world, like NASA's SWIFT satellite, are dedicated to detecting and studying GRBs, allowing scientists to gather data that connects these events to other cosmic phenomena. By analyzing the light curves and spectra of GRBs, researchers can learn about the environments in which they occur and the types of stars that produce them. This ongoing research not only enhances our understanding of the universe but also emphasizes how deeply intertwined the various components of cosmic phenomena are. Gamma ray bursts, or GRBs, are among the most powerful explosions in the universe, releasing enormous amounts of energy in a very short time. These bursts can outshine entire galaxies for a brief moment, emitting intense gamma radiation, which is a form of high-energy light. Scientists believe that GRBs are associated with the death of massive stars or the merging of neutron stars, which leads to the formation of black holes. When a massive star exhausts its nuclear fuel, it can no longer support itself against gravity, leading to a supernova explosion. If the core collapses further, it can create jets of particles that travel close to the speed of light, producing the gamma rays we detect. The energy released during a GRB is staggering. A typical GRB can release more energy in a few seconds than our sun will emit over its entire lifetime. This extraordinary energy can have significant implications for its surroundings. If a GRB were to occur close enough to Earth, within about 6,000 light years, it could potentially strip away the ozone layer, exposing the planet to harmful cosmic radiation. Thankfully, no GRB is known to be close enough to pose a threat to us at this moment, but the existence of such events in our galaxy raises intriguing questions about cosmic hazards. Interestingly, GRBs can also help astronomers probe the distant universe. When a GRB occurs, its light travels across the cosmos, and because these bursts can be seen from billions of light years away, they allow scientists to study the conditions of the early universe. The afterglow of a GRB, which can be observed in different wavelengths, from X-rays to radio waves, provides critical information about the cosmic environment at the time of the burst. This helps researchers understand how galaxies formed and evolved over time. Moreover, the study of gamma-ray bursts has implications for our understanding of fundamental physics. For instance, GRBs challenge our knowledge of how matter behaves under extreme conditions, such as those found near black holes. The jets produced in these explosions can also provide insights into particle acceleration and the nature of high-energy cosmic rays that bombard Earth. As we continue to study these cosmic phenomena, the advancements in technology and observational techniques are crucial. Space telescopes, like the Fermi Gamma Ray Space Telescope, have significantly enhanced our ability to detect and analyze GRBs. These tools have led to the discovery of 